Welcome everyone and today I'm going to show you how to make our hands not go through the object and just to illustrate you it's something like that. We are not able to put our hands through the object and we can actually move other cubes by our hand collision and as you can see we can even grab an object but I'm not pressing any kind of buttons on my controller. I'm not taking the object I'm just taking it with two hands and I can do something like that. It's pretty simple and this tutorial will not take average 40 minutes like all of my tutorials do. So the first thing we have to do is to actually create a collision for our hands that will define the area that our hands will not be able to go through objects with. So you can go ahead and type in search bar mannequin XR and you will see that we have SKM many XR left and SKM many XR right. But the thing we're missing in our default template is that we don't have physics asset for our hands. That's the asset that defines our collision. So I will go ahead, right click on our many XR left, create physics asset, create. So here I will deselect create constraints because we don't need them. We are managing our hands through our animation blueprint. And afterwards we just hit create asset. And as you will see here, our asset is created and our hand L, that's the main collision we have, is also created. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to adjust it slightly so it covered my whole hand. I'm going to do something like that. Then I'm going to move this collision a little bit to the left like this. And maybe I'm going to make it smaller and I'm going to align it with my hand. I will turn off the snapping. I will do something like that and I will rotate it like this. We can now hit Control S and completely the same we're doing for our right hand. So click here, I mean right click, create, physics asset, create deselect create constraints it shouldn't be selected here and click create asset and here we do completely the same we make this smaller i will move it a little bit to the right like this okay so it seems good now Control s and save so now once we have our asset let's actually go to our vr pawn so now you have to select one of the hands i will start with my hand left and i will type physics in my search bar in details panel and as you can see here our physics asset over right has appeared so what I'm going to do, I'm going to select the SKM Mini XR left physics, that's the one we have created right now, and assign it to my left hand. The same I'm doing with my right hand, but now I'm choosing SKM Mini XR right. So now our hand has collisions and we can actually collide with objects. But in order for us to collide with objects, we need to have physics simulated. But simulation of physics will just make our hands drop from our VR pawn. So here's where our physics constraints comes in. We'll create a point on our hand and we'll make it invisible. And we'll constrain the movement of our hand to this invisible object. What I'm going to do, I'm going to take my hand left and I'm going to de-child it. So I will drag it right here. And now our hand left is no longer child of our motion controller left grip. And completely the same, I'm doing for my right hand. So I'm selecting my hand right, I'm dragging it to its parent, motion controller right grip, and I click it right here. So now those two hands have parent VR origin. Afterwards, we need to make our hands so we can now click on them both. We're going to our details panel and we are going to set simulate physics to true so that our hands fell. And afterwards, we're going to our collision preset and we will set it to physics actor like this. Afterwards, we hit compile and save. So now if I drag my VR pawn to the level, you will see that when I simulate the game, my hands will fall, but they have collision, right? So now we have to limit the position of our hands. The way we are going to do it is that we can go to our VR pawn again. I'm going to start with my right grip. So I will click on motion controller right and here I will add a static mesh. So basically this will be a point we'll be referencing to attach our hand to. And I will call it right hand handle like this. And we can go ahead to our static mesh and select one X one cube. There is a default mesh right here. So one X one X one box centered align. And you will see a box appeared here, like this. So in our box, we have to click now on this static mesh we have just created. We'll deselect generate overlap events. We'll expand our collision preset. We'll select it to custom. And in here, make sure you change your collision enabled to query only. Because we don't want this object to simulate some physics interactions with other physics actors. So we just set query only. And in here, we just overlap everything, like this. You can now hit compile and save. And afterwards, really crucial step, since we don't want to see this cube in our level, what we are going to do, we're going to set hidden in game, this one to true, so that this object was invisible in the game, but it was visible in our blueprint, like this, and hit compile. So now we have to add our physics constraint. So basically this component will keep our hand on this cube. So now I will first rename it physics constraint, right? like this, and make sure that you will 
make this a child of your motion controller right grip, like this. So once you go in your details panel while having physics constraint right selected, you will expand those component name one, component name two. So in component name one, we want to enter our right hand handle. So I will F2, control C and put this name right here. And you should see that your cube here has been highlighted in red. Make sure it is, otherwise you have entered the wrong name. Afterwards, I'm going to enter the name for my second component and now it will be my hand right. So I will control C and put it right here. And you should see that your collision for right hand has been highlighted in blue. So you have red cube and blue balance of your hand. So afterwards, what do you have to do? We'll have to disable the collision here and we'll have to disable the projections. So basically disable collision, it basically disables collision between bodies joined by this constraint so that your hand was snapping to this right hand handle and they were not colliding. So that's why we need to do this. And afterwards we want to disable the projection because it will create some weird movements in our hand. And afterwards we need to work with our linear limits. So once we collide the hand with an object, we don't want our hand to push inside the object, to go through the object. We want it to be fixed like this and go only up, down, left and right, but not into. That's why we're going to limit X, Y, Z motion to 90 degrees, like this. And afterwards I'll have my angular limits. So basically angular limits are the limits between our handle and our hand. And we want our hand to be exactly the same rotation and everything the same as our handle. So that's why we're setting it all to locked because we want our hand to have exactly the same rotation as our handle is. So afterwards we're moving to our linear motion and here we'll have to select all of those uh, check boxes here and we'll have to make the strength to 2000. That will be basically the force that will be pushing our hand from the object when we are trying to push it inside. And the same with our velocity target, we'll have value 200. So basically you have to play with those values. That's what I found works the best. So afterwards we'll change our angular drive mode to twist and swing. So here we'll select twist and swing and afterwards we'll select 500 here. And here we also select twist and swing and put 50 here. So afterwards we copy this physics constraint right and we move it to our left. So we need also to create one for left. So I will press on motion controller left grip, control V and I will assign it here like this. And also let's copy our right hand handle and paste it to our motion controller left grip since we also need an object to reference like this. So I will now call it left hand handle like this left hand handle and physics constraint left. So now all we have to change in our physics constraint left is the component's name. So now instead of right hand handle, we'll have our left hand handle and make sure your cube is highlighted when you're doing this. And instead of hand right, we'll have our hand left. So hand left like this. So as you can see now, I have my hands and they work as they usually do. But the only problem here is that when we teleport, our hands tele like smoothly come to us. But that's the problem I will not fix in this tutorial. Maybe I'll do it in other videos. But the most important thing is that we are not able to put our hands through the object. And we can actually move other cubes by our hand collision. And as you can see, we can even grab an object, but I'm not pressing any kind of buttons on my controller. I'm not taking the object. I'm just taking it with two hands and I can do something like that. And my hands obviously do not go through any of the objects. And that's a good thing. Okay guys, that was it and thank you for watching this tutorial today. I hope it really helped you. Please leave a like and a comment under this video and if you're not subscribed, please hit the subscribe button. I really appreciate it. I wish you a good day and I'll see you in the next tutorial.